Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Here is your appointment letter and your green card. And here is your waiting number. Thank you. Please have a seat. We will call your name when your appointment is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. C-12. Miss Alejandra Rodriguez? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm Immigration Officer John, and I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How about you? I'm doing well, and thank you for asking. Please come in and remain standing. And you can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start your interview, I need to swear you in. Can you please raise your right hand? Sure. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Please put your hand down and have a seat. Thank you. Can I have your green card and your appointment notice and your driver's license or state-issued ID? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I don't. All right. Why are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I'm over 11 years old, and I have been a lawful permanent resident for five years. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? Since August 12, 2018. Great. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Because I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I want to vote. Also, I would like to apply for family reunification. Great. Now let's review your N-400 application form, just to make sure all the information you filled in is correct. Or if you would like to update information. Can you please tell me your full current legal name? Alejandra Rodriguez. Do you have any nicknames or any other names you use? Yes, Ali. Would you like to legally change your name? Because you have the option to change it today. No, I don't want to change my name. Can you confirm the last four digits of your social security number? 0542 What is your date of birth? November 6, 1995 What country were you born in? Venezuela And are you still a citizen of that country? Yes, I am. Are one or both of your parents U.S. citizens? They are not U.S. citizen. What is the best contact number to reach you? 613-863-2536 What is your email address? Alejandra.ro at gmail.com What is your current mailing address? 
113 Franklin Street, Apartment 4, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 27514. And how long are you living there? Over three years. What's your previous address? 8016 Providence Road, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28277. Are you currently employed? Yes, I'm a nurse assistant at UNC Hospital. How long have you been working there? Since 2020. Well, what is your current marital status? Married. Did you get your green card through your marriage? No. Can you confirm your spouse's legal name? Luis Garcia Perez. What date did you marry your current spouse? April 10th, 2019. What is your current spouse's date of birth? birth. September 12th, 1995. Could I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your current spouse's current address? The same as my current address, 113 Franklin Street, Apartment 4, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 27514. Have you been married previously? No, I have not. Do you have any children? Yes, I do have two children with my current spouse. Can you confirm your children's current legal names? David Garcia Perez and Alex Garcia Perez. What is your children's date of birth? David was born on December 10th, 2019. Alex was born on March 28th, 2021. And where were they born? They were born in North Carolina. Can I have their birth certificate? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you taken a trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have. How many days have you spent outside the United States in the last five years? Eighty days. Have any of your trips outside the United States been longer than six months? No. Have you traveled internationally since you submitted your application? No, I have not. Where was the last trip? To Venezuela. And when? March 2022. What was the purpose of your last trip? To take care of my mother who had a surgery. All right, let's go over some questions from Part 12 of the N-400 application then. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. And will you take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Do you know what an oath of allegiance to the United States means? 
a sworn declaration that every citizenship applicant must recite during a ceremony. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I have not. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, never. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, I have not. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, never. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No, I have not. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, I have not. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. Do you know what terrorist means? A person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Have you ever been persecuted either directly or indirectly by any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, I have not. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No, never. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No, never. Excellent. Now let's move on to the civics test portion. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I have studied since submitted my application. Great. I will ask you up to 10 of the 100 civics questions and you must answer 6 out of 10 questions correctly to pass the civics test portion. First question. What does the President's Cabinet do? Again. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Second question. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Next question. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435 voting members. Great. Here is another question. What are two cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Commerce. Secretary of Defense. Okay. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Tom Tillis. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. Great. 
What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attack the United States. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. Last question. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because some states have more people. Very good. You got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. Now we are going to move on to the English reading and writing test. I'm going to show you a few sentences on the screen, and I want you to read them back to me. Who was the president during the Civil War in the United States? Here is another sentence. Who is George Washington? Great. Now listen carefully to this sentence I'll say, and I want you to write it down on paper. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Do you need that repeated? Yes, please, officer. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Great! You passed the English reading and writing test portion, too. Congratulations! You passed your U.S. citizenship interview. Thank you. Now, please take a look at your application on the tablet and make sure everything is accurate. And you will go ahead and sign and date on the bottom. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I will be submitting your application for approval. You should hear from USCIS within the next two weeks for your oath ceremony. And here is a copy of your test result. Thank you. You're welcome. So, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't have any question now. Congratulations again. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notification. And remember, your naturalization interview will probably be different, but this will give you a general idea of the interview format and what you should expect.